What does it take for a good Catholic boy to lose his faith in God? I heard religion is something people use to blame someone for all the wrong happening in their lives. For as long as I can remember, I always wanted to be an example. Someone people could look up to, or well, even one person could look up to and say, I wish I could be like him. But all that changed a few months ago when I was attacked on my way home from work. Talk about a terrible ending to a perfect day. worth a lot of money. And where did you hear it from? He inherited a lot after his parents died. So I'm just gonna say it there. It's God. things in their lives. They repented, they were forgiven, and today people look up to them. I haven't done any major messed up things as such. The worst thing I can remember doing was copying off the guy in front of me at my terms. Although you read a lot about kidnappings and murders, it never prepares you for when it actually happens to you. This experience was totally different. Although I knew what I could do, it was not exactly the same. These kidnappers, they did what they had to, and I can understand that today. But they did change me. Dude, he's waking up. Oh. My friend. Where am I? What the hell am I? Listen, that's not important. We don't want to hurt you. Just give us the money. What are you talking about? We heard you have a lot of money. About that. Well, you're picking really down day to do this, don't you think? It's the weekend and banks are closed for the weekend. I can only give you the money on Monday. You did all your research and you forgot about this? Relax. Listen, smart ass. 
We're not playing games here. We need the money. I understand that if you let me go, I can probably wire transfer the money to you on Monday. How dumb do you think we are? We're not letting you go anywhere. If you talk too much, we show you reruns on the Twilight. No! Other than the swearing, which I am intentionally leaving out, they weren't bad guys. They were pretty alright. At some point, they took off their masks and they allowed me to do all that I wanted in that house or that barely standing house. Till this day, I have no idea where it was located. Wow, is there nobody who remembered me? Seriously, no one who even noticed that I was gone for like two days? That tells you how much meaning your life had to everybody around you. Well, I mean, this could have been a lot worse. Could have had one of those weird kidnappers do weird things to me which didn't happen, so I'm pretty alright. Might as well go to bed, not like they've got anything to do around you. Wait till Monday. Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee, blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Then Monday came, and everything changed. After talking to my banker and making no attempt at escaping, the money was transferred. But now, they didn't know what to do with me. I had seen all their faces. Dude, he's seen our faces. We have to kill him. I don't think so, man. I'm sure he can keep us no, here. Let's not kill no. him. No, he's seen too much. We have to kill him. Guys, I'm right here. I can hear what you're saying. You don't have to kill me. I mean, we can survive this. I can give you all the money and we'll all be fine. Let's just end this. I think it's time to say your prayers. And that was when I began praying. I realized this entire time I had not prayed at all. I just blamed God for all the wrong that had happened in my life. What are the odds of someone's parents dying a month ago, you trying to cope with it and then you end up getting kidnapped? And on top of that, the money you inherited all being taken away from you. It didn't make sense. This was by far the worst weekend of my life. But after that, God gave me the strength. I realized that now I had the ability to do what I had to do. Nothing was about this world and we were just passing through it. I had the strength for what was going to come next and I was ready for it. The Lord has been renewed. I now know that He can do great things through me. Thank you. What does it take for a Christian to lose his faith in God? My story begins one evening when I was involved in a kidnapping. <laughs> 